Shukufta from Impossible Blog and we're at the Wearable Technology Show in London. Let's go check it out. And we're going to arm wrestle to see who's stronger. Oh yeah? Oh my god, what a tight, try tight grip! <laughs> We're developing incredibly low-cost but advanced robotic prosthetic hands. So this is one of our prototypes. It's 3D printed and we print it in one single piece. The hand can move each finger individually, so it's got a wide range of different movements that it can do. Right now the control mechanism is a bit basic, so the amputee can only tell it to open or close. It will then adaptively grip objects of different shapes and sizes. Brain sensing headband. It's a brain fitness tool that helps you do more with your mind. It's a clinical grade EEG in a consumer form factor. Sensors on the forehead and behind the ears. It slips on just like a pair of glasses. It actually tracks your brain activity in real time and sends it to your smartphone or tablet. From there it gives you exercises that you can do to improve your attention and decrease your stress. Uh, this is a sleep mask that helps you to sleep more effectively. Uh, here dry electrodes which read your uh, brain waves and thermometer and accelerometer thanks to which you know if you move and how much do you move during the night uh, and also it measures your uh, oxygen the oxygen saturation of your blood thanks to data collected by the PC boss uh, the lights hidden here affect uh, the melatonin production the mask cooperates with the mobile app you set the time at which you want to wake up and the mask will wake you up in the most natural way so imitating a sundown with a light which is gradually increasing and then if it doesn't wake you up with a vibration and the sound as a like last, uh, last step. It's introducing the Sport Eyes product that we have. It's a um, coaching and heads up display device used to um, translate information from different sensors, uh, speed, heart rate, power, and allow you to visually see where you are in different training zones that you organize and preset using our app, and uh, allows you to you know, train and race uh, without having to look uh, at specific numbers on a bike computer or a watch, so you can remain um, focused on what's going on around you and just have blinking LED lights um, in your secondary vision to guide you in your training and your racing. Um, I am working on a project with textile metal materials. So these are materials that can uh, refract light and other electromagnetic waves in really, really unusual ways. So usually if you have a light beam coming, um, it only always reflects into one direction. However, with the um, with this kind of material, it refracts into the other direction, which means that you can use it to make invisibility books. It's not actually a headband, it's a activity monitor. Okay, so basically it uh, monitors everything from your sleep to cycling to swimming. Um, you can wear it anywhere you like. We've got lots of different models. Um, some girls prefer the more glitzy look, whereas I prefer the more standard look. Um, and if you like us, come check us out at misfit.com. Mio Global, we are the world's first accurate heart rate monitor watch that works at performance speeds even in excess of 20 kilometers an hour. Also introducing our new product, the Mio Fuse, which I'm showing here. And the Fuse extends the um, uh, possibility to wear Mio not just for fitness activities, but as something to track your performance for the whole day because we're adding steps and speed and distance and calories. So it's a great way to get a whole view of your um, and the whole perspective of your day. We have developed an exciting sun exposure uh, device that can control how much time you spend in the sun and give you some safe information about what's right for you. Now this is the device, it's pretty small. Uh, inside contains a small chip with a UV sensor. Uh, you would wear this anywhere on your person, maybe it's a hair clip, a tie clip, or something like that. This then communicates with a uh, smartphone app which we've developed and if you can put in how long you're planning to be outdoors in the sun, you can see the levels change there. That will uh, also take an image of your skin type. So here's an image that was taken earlier of my skin type. That puts it all into one clever algorithm to work out what's exactly right for you and your skin type. And it also takes into account the weather where you are, that country, the UV index, pulls it all together and can actually give you real-time monitoring of your cumulative sun exposure throughout the day. So you know for your skin type in that location what's safe for you. 
Essentially what we have here is smart footwear. It allows you to navigate without having to look at your phone or looking at a map and it also tracks fitness metrics, so the number of steps, the calories burnt as well as distance traveled. Um, and it does that very simply. It connects to our app on your phone. You tell the app initially what you want it to do. You want to go from point A to point B. You want to count the number of steps during the day. Once you do that though, you put the phone away and it's you and the shoe. So if you need to go right, your right shoe will buzz. If you need to go left, your left shoe will buzz, and so on and so forth. Wearing these smart glasses, uh, it's really quite interesting. I can see Skype on my screen here, and I can actually Skype somebody, and if I Skype them, they can see what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, it's quite surreal. Hey, that works. Fantastic. Hi, my name's Grace Mandeville, and today I'm wearing an arm made by Open Bionics, and it's pretty damn awesome if you ask me. It looks pretty glam. I think the best thing about it is that it's like a work of art. It's not just a blend in, you stand out, which I think is the main thing about being different. Hi, my name's Danny Newman and I'm wearing the gold butterfly dress. Um, and my butterflies uh, actually flew off of my dress, which is quite a magical moment. Um, and I feel absolutely great wearing it. What you're seeing here is our wonderful tech couture dress. So this was designed by Turkish designers Ezra and Tuba along with Intel Turkey. And what they've created is a beautiful piece that's based on Intel's Edison technology, so our latest really small designer chip, developer chip, and the dress is programmed as cables inside it so that the butterflies you'll see at the top react when you get closer to Danny the model. So the wings will start flapping faster and she has a button that she can press to release some paper butterflies that we pre-programmed. So it's a wonderful statement piece, you know, if you're at a wedding or a reception. And then next to her is the model Grace from our Open Bionics. So they were a finalist in the Intel Make It Wearable Challenge. And they've developed uh, and launching today a Swarovski encrusted bionic arm um, to show that really, you know, Bioaesthetic arms can be, you know, really attractive and appealing for women. It's our rapid adaptation glasses and goggles for skiers and cyclists and other sports, and they rapidly adjust to changing light situations so that when you go into a tunnel, uh, you're safe and you don't get hit by cars because you can see where they are. They can also be synchronized to other devices and other light sources. So you could block out sunlight but get your full light from your headlights, or you could have them synchronized to the screen of a device so that you can see the device much more clearly in daylight. Here the elation jacket. Um, it is for men and uh, for men and women. It's a jacket that heats in three uh, in two zones. Um, it, it can function as a hands recalling device and it can charge your phone. And it's a beautiful leather jacket. It's German cowhide and it's made in Germany. We are reinventing privacy monitoring. It's a grand breakthrough uh, technology that actually can capture data from the fittest and from the mother. We can actually gather information about the heart rate and heart rate variability through passive and totally safe sensors that sit on our um, wearable belt. And through a very sophisticated algorithm that sits on the cloud, we can actually um, differentiate the signals from the mother and from the fittest. And the mother can get all the information and a really nice, smart app application through her smartphone and can get the information about the heart rate and the heart rate variability of herself and of her uh, fittest. And headphones. And they're headphones, not headphones. The reason they're headphones is because you'll see they're sitting in front of my ear, not connected into my ear or over my ear. That means if I'm out cycling or running or in a situation where I, want, I need to be aware of my surroundings, I can listen to music. In fact, I'm listening to music right now through these headsets um, that I'm wearing, and I don't have to worry about um, having a conversation with you or talking to the camera, uh, because I'm able to listen to everything else around me whilst also listening to the audio. Also makes it very perfect as well. If I take a call, I can just press the call button, phone is in my pocket, I can answer the call perfectly, which means that I can still listen to everything else, have the conversation as well, so if a call comes in while I'm cycling, I'm still able to listen to it. Here at the wearable technology show, this is Grace, apparently she's someone cool, but she does the thumbs up thing, apparently she's got nice eye stuff, but uh, she's got a prosthetic arm thing. We call it bionic arm. Bionic arm, a super bionic arm, and we're going to arm wrestle to see who's stronger. Oh yeah? Oh my god, what a tight... Try tight grip! <laughs>